Yo, what's going on guys? This is Snape here and I'm back with a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you the best settings for Season 22 in Apex Legends. If you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, but without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So we're going to dive straight in on settings. So first of all, you want to have Interact Prompt Start on Compact. If you have it on default, this is just way too much information. Get it on Compact, nice and tidy, no problemo. Next up, we're going to go Button Hint. If you're new to the game, I would have it on. If you're not, I would have it off. You just get told what button to press every single time. I'd have it off. Next up, we got Crosshair Damage Feedback. I have it off, but if you quite like the idea of having this little X every time you shoot, then go for it. But I find it clutters my screen a little bit too much and I can't actually see myself shooting the enemy. Next up, we got Damage Numbers. This one is not as relevant as you used to be you used to want to have it on stacking purely because of the basis of that you would be able to tell your team what damage you've done now with the brand new enemy health bar it's not as important so you can technically turn this off but i prefer being able to just call out what damage i've done still like maybe in the if for example if you hit a kraber shot you want to be at ice cream and after 140 i've shot him with a kraber like it's still good to use obviously if you don't use the enemy health bar you definitely want to keep on stacking but personally i would not turn this thing off so next up, and then we're going to go into yeah, the enemy health bar, which I'm just saying I wouldn't turn this off because I do think you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. This is the way that it's going to start turning into Apex. I personally don't really like it. I think it makes the game a little bit too easy for people and it puts people at disadvantage that potentially have maybe no white meds, but they don't want the enemy team to know that. And of course, as soon as they get shot, you're going to find out. But that's the sort of thing you'll run out of. And it's really helpful when you are obviously pushing a three man fight. Maybe your teammate has rinsed one and you get to see how much damage is left. You know which person to shoot so I team fight wise upgrade. you're going to put yourself you at a disadvantage if you have this disabled so definitely have this enabled next up ping optimistic definitely have this on faded it will then just fade out when you look at it so if you like for example ping in and you look it'll fade so then you can actually see through it you don't want to have that block in your vision uh next up we have enemy highlights definitely have this enabled it's going to help you a lot when obviously in team fights you don't know who who is who it will give you that little blue outer ring when it's your teammate and it'll give you a red outer ring when it is the enemy it's really helpful and i personally think this is a very good thing that has been brought into the game 100 keep it enabled obituaries definitely have this enabled it basically just shows you uh people in the kill feed which would be above me if we were in a game uh next up mini map rotations i have this off which makes when you move left to right the mini map will move with you i prefer that a lot auto weapon recycle auto weapon cycle on empty 100% have this on it just means if you have no ammo left in your bag then you will automatically switch to the another gun so say for example obviously i'm not here for the ammo but say for example i had no bullets left it would automatically switch to the next gun so definitely worthwhile it won't just do it when the clip's empty if you obviously have bullets left in the bag it will auto re reload uh, always sprint i have this on it just means you can push your left analog stick forward and then you keep sprinting so much easier auto run now last season i had this on i've actually turned it off this season because i found that there was too many situations where i was accidentally dropping off of buildings and roofs purely on the basis because i kept accidentally pushing forward twice and you would then drop off it's not actually as good as i thought it would be obviously if you're a bit lazy and you want to just use it when you're like maybe on your phone and you're moving to the zone you might want to keep it on but i personally found there was more situations where it got me killed that it was actually beneficial so i have kept this off uh jetpack toggle it's up to you it just when you play valkyrie whether you hold a or you press a and tap it and then you just fly up in the air i personally have it on toggle so i tap it and then i get to fly in the air and it's fine um next over we're gonna go with Incoming damage feedback, I have this on 3D. Um, after that, we're then going to go into taking damage, closes death boxes or crafting menu. 100% have this off. You will not be able to armor swap if you have this on. Please, for the love of God, have this off. Um, off screen portraits. If you're new to the game, you might want this on, but I personally find that this is very irritating. It just gives you this little portrait of your teammate in a building when you can't see them, but it does actually make it very nuisance. Blocks your vision. I, I turn it off. Uh, next up, hop up and pop ups. If you're new to the game, you want to know what stuff you can turn this on and it just means if you were to uh, say for example let's get a haber i'm blind it's right there um and then we pick it up you see it gives you right below me it tells you what it is but personally i don't think you need it if you are not new to the game uh, that's why i've turned off uh streamer mode you can turn this on if you want um i wouldn't bother um but i don't really give a toss uh, this one would just hide um the team names above when they get killed so maybe if you don't want someone to get used I and abused an you could have it turned um, on streamer upgrades. mode uh, but i personally would have it off uh, anonymous mode this is for those streamers that want to hide their names or the cheaters so if you're a cheater and you want to hide your name you, you, you enabled it 
Dickhead though. <laughs> uh, next up, we're going to go into usage sharing. This is I have enabled. It just means EA get a season details and stuff. Hopefully, it benefits the game. Uh, next up, performance display. I have this on. It just means above me right here, past the sponsors. You can see my ping. So, very helpful. Um, it helps you as well when you know things are going wrong. Um, next up, we've got communication filter. If you're new to the game, and or maybe if you're younger, and you don't want to hear people, I could probably turn that off. Um, if you don't want to hear people shouting in game chat. Um, but if you're like me and you don't give a toss, you have it ever said to everybody. Red's cool. I have mine customized. If you want to copy mine, you're more than welcome. I use a green one. Um, you don't have to. There's no benefits to whatever, you know. Do whatever feels most comfortable to you. Uh, laser sight. I have it actually set to a red dot because I've always just thought red dot laser sight makes sense. Um, so you can copy that as well. Uh, colorblind uh, mode. You can change this around if you want. I used to play on Tritonopia a long time ago. I have found now though, like it just doesn't actually really benefit me at all. You're better off changing that if you actually need it. Uh, subtitles have off. Uh, not subtitle size normal. Um, enable accessible chat features off. Disabled uh, voice chat. You can turn that off completely if you don't want to talk to anyone at all uh confer incoming voice to text chat i have this turned off because sometimes people will put really inappropriate things in it and then it will come out loud and of course me being a streamer i don't want that but also young kids might not want that either um and then we also have incoming uh text chat as speech i have this turned off as well uh moving into controller you can have this set to how you want um i have mine set to customize and it has just literally got all these set up um i think mine are actually might be the exact same as uh default I but i play upgrade. with uh, paddles now this upgrades. is something new that i've just moved into i used to just play with my lb as jump and i played bumper jumper but now i play with paddles and my god i feel incredible if you need a good controller e swap x2 right above me fucking banging controller um after that we got stick layout default keep that the same um unless you really want to change it um next up then we have interact to reload button i have this tap to reload you definitely want that because it makes your life so much easier uh if you want to be able to bunny jump bunny hop you need crouch button on hold just means when you are running you can uh Sorry, I did that wrong. <laughs> just means you can keep bouncing like that. Uh, so I would personally keep that um on hold um aim button you want this on hold because that'd be weird unless you play PUBG. but it's just going to make you so much slower having it on toggle survival slot have this on it just means you can press down on the d-pad if you are on um controller and then that way you can get out your survival item quicker rather than having to go into your bag trigger dead zones definitely have this on none it means as soon as you tap your button you it will shoot upgrades. straight away definitely worth doing as soon as i hit my right trigger it shoots as fast as possible um and then we've also got uh menu cursor mode this is down to you i have it halfway just going to help you with obviously how quick you loot if you're going for an arm swap how quickly you can get down to the loot um after this this is all down to your personal preference i am going to do a video on my alcs if you want to watch that make sure you stay tuned it'll be up probably the day after this um but yeah th th we got movement dead zone definitely have this on small um inverted look this is down to you if you like inverted you've always played inverted you can play it uh vibrations highly recommend you have this off vibrations actually put you off and it makes you miss aims so turn this off um and then like i say i have advanced controls i'll go through that in another video brightness i have this set to like one above that's down to your personal preference fov i have 110 i really like 110 i've always played on 110 it's been nice um fov ability scaling i have this disabled it just means your screen will not change if you phase I or stem or something like that great. It won't mess around with your screen it's quite nice to keep it the same um minimal on the sprint view shake because that will just shake your screen more than it needs to be uh graphics mode if you are on console like myself i have this on performance obviously it's going to be different on pc don't worry about that otherwise so yeah if you can play 120 on a console i would highly recommend you have it on and then when here we go for the last bit we've got max volume i have this actually turned down slightly because i found it was too bloody loud um so you can change this if you like um you can turn it up if you want i put it just a 90 um this is the new one they've added this is the open mic threshold so the way this works is if potentially you have a lot of background noise and you don't want people people to be hearing it and and then potentially getting annoyed you can turn this higher and then it just means people are not gonna you're gonna have to speak out loud louder 
Um, it just really helps with those situations where you will have, like you say, background noise. Maybe if someone has kids in the background and things like that, whack that up, and then therefore they're only going to pick up your voice. Really good movie. thing they brought in. I like that a lot. Sound effects, I have that turned down slightly to 90. Dialogue volume, I have that set to 90. You can have it to 100, guys. Don't feel like this is me saying you got to change it. Um, then we've got music volume. I just have that turned off. I don't really like the music. Lobby uh, music volume, I have it 10%, really quiet. It's not really, can't hardly hear it, to be honest. Um, game volume bar spectating. This is another cool feature they brought in. If you're somebody that maybe wants to chill out once you're dead and you don't want to hear such loud shooting because sometimes it is irritating, you can turn this down. I haven't played with it yet, but I might change it in the future. And then the last thing we got is emo preview, uh, preview sound. I would have this on because, you know, you want to be able to hear those emotes, you know, in the lobby. What's the point in not being able to know what the preview sounds like you know um so yeah that is everything those are all the settings i would recommend you have on for season 22 if you have enjoyed please like comment subscribe i hope this was quick enough for you and i'll see you all in the next video